Coming up, we tell you about Young M.A. clearing up rumors about her getting shot. Bobby Schmarter looking at a possible early release. And guess which rapper is leaving rap to lead the flock. Hey everybody, it's your girl Rach the Gem. What up? It's Los. And welcome to The Beat. Andrew Cuomo is being so selfless because he is not accepting the COVID-19 vaccine until Black, Hispanic, and poor people get it first. Got to make sure you run through the test subject. Everybody out here talking out the side of their neck. <laughs> Literally. He was like, you go ahead and keep that Bell's palsy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, so there are some people trying to move, right? So I, that brings me to my guy, Bobby Schmurda. So according to TMZ, Bobby could be released from prison as soon as next month, if he can stay out of trouble, of course. After reviewing the rapper's behavior and participation in prison programs, the Department of Corrections updated his conditional release date to February 23rd, 2021, which is 10 months earlier than when his sentence was expected to end. They really messed up his momentum with his music, so Absolutely. I would love for him to come back, see if he comes out with some bangers, kind of like Kodak Black did a little bit. Right. But he's back in jail now. Exactly. He went right back. He did. He pulled a miss at the end of the day. Speaking of good behavior, Mace is out here trying to save souls. He is exiting the rap game and he's going back into the pulpit. He is actually going to be leading the flock. It was announced on Sunday at Gathering Oasis Church in Atlanta. Uh, he announced that he would be taking over as their leader. They're the most forgiving bunch. So <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome back, Pastor. Would you go to a uh, to a Mace? congregation would you go to a mace church that's the only type of church i'll go to this is true i'm right there <laughs> with you i need i need mace i need mc hammer as the minister of music and of course fantasia needs every solo so we need to hit up <sighs> pastor mace's church that's that's I'm the there. way that's I'm, where we that's have only way. Only way. watch them come out with it and i'll be expected to be there <laughs> oh i can't wait i can't wait so it's a bunch of rappers that are trying out new careers. Uh, so Saweetie is actually making her acting debut on Grownish. The California rapper will be making a cameo on after the mid-season break on January 21st. Here's a clip of her scene. Everything okay? No, it's hot as fish grease out here and nothing about this fabric is breathable. Well, I actually have your second choice options on standby. Um, you know what, I'm sure we can figure something out if you give me like 15 minutes. 12? 10. Why'd I do that? I'm not really feeling this outfit anymore. I just realized that all the other dancers have the same look. I need to stand out. <laughs> Straight diva. I imagine with Drake's haircut, this is exactly how he is when he's on set for anything he's shooting certified lover boy related. But <laughs> shout out to Saweetie, you know, breaking out of her comfort zone, trying something new, definitely. Yes. Now, Young M.A. actually had to go live and uh, explain that she had not been shot. The typically low-key Queens rapper headed to Instagram on Monday to do some damage control and assure her fans she was staying out of trouble. Here's the clip. I don't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. I'm very unproblematic. I'm clean. I have no drama with me. That's the problem with social media. As soon as it's posted, it's automatically real life. Because someone could have easily just hit up Young and May and found out that she was alive and helped spread that word. But as soon as it goes out on Facebook, it must be real. Yeah, they was like, New York rapper, it gotta be true. While we're on the subject of shots fired, Eminem actually apologized to Rihanna for what he calls a stupid old diss. Eminem opened up during a Sirius XM interview Monday saying he doesn't have any recollection of recording an unreleased verse on B.O.B.'s Things Gets Worse record in which he raps about him taking Chris Brown's side during an altercation. The rhyme schemes didn't even sound like familiar to me. So I was caught off guard too. I was like, what the f I said that? And that was, you know, that was during early like stages of uh, the relapse record that I was working on. So, you know, it was 10 plus years old, but I'm not making excuses for it. I, I, I said it and I was wrong for saying that it was stupid. I love to see the growth. And you know what? Eminem actually released a statement saying that uh, he had to learn how to rap again because of his drug use. Absolutely. I think around that time he was doing relapse. And really, when you think about him, he's never shied away from giving you some kind of shocking or, you know, 
gas bringing verse. So it's really not outside of his element, but you know, I guess in a sense, I can kind of understand where some of the frustration may come from with dealing with their situation. But I mean, it's him. Uh, what, what else is there to do? But like you said, shout out to the growth. Yes, shout out to the growth. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in to The Beat. We'll be back tomorrow and you can tune in with us every day, Monday through Friday. You can follow me at Big Los IG on IG. You can follow me at Rach Gem on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And that's The Beat. We'll see y'all tomorrow.